Oh, I'm gonna find this. This is happening. Oh, here we go. I'm starting. Oh, I'm sorry. We have 138 in progress. Go. We have a bomb. <laughs> And um, my carpet was like dark brown. She's the coolest old lady. I'd fuck her. I just don't care. Hey, can you give me a ride to jail or something? That's <laughs> nice. I like that intro. Now let's get started. Merry, merry, quite contrary. Trim that bush, it's fucking hairy. <laughs> Welcome to the Wednesday show and an Andrew oh. Dice Clay impression. <laughs> was that joke just for today? That was, I don't know. I forgot which one I was going to do. That was explicit. So I, uh, <laughs> yeah. It sounded like you've been working on it all day. No, no. I've just been uh, watching Andrew a lot Dice of Clay jokes. Yeah. The one of his nursery rhymes. He, he tells them the kids. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's weird, man. You're older than me and you don't know who Dice is. How do you... It's, it's, in it's from his. It's you know he does stand up, right? Andrew Dice. Andrew Dice Clay is like one of the biggest. The Dice in the Man. Mm-hmm. You know, if I saw his face, I'd probably know. But I oh, say, I, yeah. You know. One of those facial recognition kind of guys. Yeah. Like, oh, he has a mole on top of his lip. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, that that kind of stuff. Well, when no identifying like that, features. Dude. That's it's a key thing that I got. Oh, there you go. See, yeah, there goes the dice. Oh, that's the dice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. No, he played the garden, more known as the Olive Garden. It was a sold-out table. <laughs> He's a very, oh, very wow. controversial guy for a while. <laughs> but he also sold that Madison Square Garden before anybody else. The so. Garden, and now the Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> the Olive Garden. <laughs> Trying to say his 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 career isn't doing well. Uh, well, now it's on the uptake. Well, yeah, he's on in Vegas. Uptake, as they say. Uh, he also, wasn't he, like, actually nominated for an award of some sort? Like for a comedy acting? award? I, no. uh, some, some sort of acting thing, like a legitimate acting role. They like had. my romantic face. Yeah, I think so. I really? Think, uh, they like or, how I do. I'm over here. Now I'm over here now. He's over here now. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> <sighs> That's just normal people movement. <laughs> That's it. Did you, did you, were you a fan of Andy Dice Clay? I really wasn't just because of the fact that I honestly I didn't care for him. I wasn't like, ah, yeah. oh, I hated him, but then again I wasn't like, ah, oh, I fucking love him like There know. for a while I didn't like him either. Yeah. I don't know I don't know why I I have this memory though of being young like cuz I don't remember when it came out but Brain Smasher a love story, the movie that he made back in like 88 or whatever. Really? Mm-hmm. I remember actually liking that when I was a kid. What um, is that movie about? I've never seen it. It's about his Andrew Dice Clay, because that's like a character basically that he's doing. Um, it's not. It's Ford Fairlane. It's not Ford. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, Ford Fairlane. Yeah. So it got Terry Hatcher in it. That character. I don't even remember the story. I just when I was in. But look at that. Vest. If you showed me an, a movie, I'm a young, lovable bug. <laughs> if you if you found me before, like I was in high school or whatever, and you showed me a movie, chances are I would like it regardless of how terrible it was. I liked a lot of really bad movies. I liked Howard the Duck mm-hmm. when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Howard the Duck, oh, there's reason to love that, that shit. Howard the Duck, I would think, when we were but young. But not ironically, a... like I genuinely thought that yeah. was a good movie. He was deeper than Daffy. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Daffy was a shallow character. Howard the Duck had some problems. He fought giant cockroaches. I mean, who's it's not true. Like? Any new quack fool. All right, so let's explain who we're here with. All this banter goes <laughs> well, on. Well, first of all, first of all, first things fucking first, this is Potential Problems Podcast. Boom. Oh, yeah, Welcome. Cause... Yes, it's the Wednesday show. Wednesday, is that what day it is? It's July the 2nd, Wednesday, July the 2nd, so that means we're about to make it July the fucking 4th. Does anybody work tomorrow here? Anybody have legitimate, well, you work well, tonight, you right, Roy? Yeah. You mean Friday, yeah, right? Yeah, Friday. Because uh, Friday is the holiday. Today yeah, is Wednesday. Ex- well, exactly. We're about, I get off, we're I gonna get... skip Thursday because no one's going to work tomorrow here. Uh, right? I, I am, but I I, work, I, I, uh, I work, but I work at night, so it really doesn't even matter. But should it we finish does. the introduction Wait. first? I know. Well, no, I, well, no, 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 no. We got we got to get into it. We got to end into this real quick. <laughs> I got a two hours off of work for the end of the day. I got that message. So today. tomorrow you leave at two. Yeah. Nice. I'm working one to eight tomorrow. One to eight tomorrow. But I don't really consider it work. I, I'm really actually kind of excited about it. So <laughs> why are you excited? Does it like crazy? Is like people run into your work and set their vaginas on fire on like that third of July? That would be worrying. I think that would that would be a potential problem. That would boom. Be. Um, <laughs> no, I. My, and you're Will Bolt. I'm Will Bolt. Uh, 
See, we're Bo- sneaking it in there. Yeah. So uh, my name is Will Bolt. I'm a local up creek. <laughs> um. Yeah. No, my buddy just got me a job working. He, my friend John um, Sakura. Quayar. No, John Sakura. Quayar. <laughs> Sakura, uh, <laughs> he runs and owns a local retro video game store called Gamers Anonymous. Uh-huh. Uh, everybody check him out. There's a great store. If you like Where old is video it games. Uh, the, the store I'm going to be working at tomorrow is at Wyoming and Constitution, I believe. It's right by the by I-40. It's like Wyoming and I-40, oh, uh, cool. Gamers Anonymous. And what do they sell there? Uh, everything. Drugs? Every, no. They sell drugs? <laughs> Only on Tuesdays. Can I get drugs? Uh, drugs. No, they don't sell drugs. They the sell drugs. retro video games. Um, oh, well, they, those are They cool. specialize in that. And um, so, so like, like, he just got me a job there. I mean, it's his store, but he... I'm fucking with you, but, like, these are actually legitimate questions that I'm like, now that you told me where you work, I'm like, that's well, that's actually someplace I might go. So yeah. they sell, like, retro stuff like Nintendo. Yeah, no, or... all the way back to, like, Intellivision, Atari, um, how all much, the way through... How much would a... Re- would a, a Nintendo cost me these days. Okay, so here's the cool thing. So we do sell actual eight original eight bit NES systems. John actually is an artist too, and sometimes he'll do like no, original. <sighs> John Sakura. <laughs> oh, okay, is an that artist, guy. and he he'll do like original like he'll do like a, a like a Mario mural on an NES. Like, oh, that's cool. Man. But like, oh, if yeah. you just got like a straight NES. Um, no bells or whistles. It's like about forty bucks. That's fucking um, sweet. But that's like for like an original one, you know. Yeah. And um, but they sell these cool things. I can't re- think of the name right now because it's all new to me. But they they're these systems that run um off of Android software that you can plug in um Super Nintendo or Nintendo cartridges into, and it'll play in like HD on your TV. They're, and they're, and those are cool, those are like twenty five bucks. Oh shit! They're, yeah, well, depending dude. on which one, they have like a bunch of different models, so they run anywhere from like twenty five to like seventy dollars, depending on which model you get. But fucking Super Mario on this TV, that's like a whole new fucking, fucking awesome. level. Yeah, and so and then we that's like the water, li- no literally. Yeah, that's like the water level times ten. No, fuck that. As long as I get past the snow level, then I'm good. Are you talking about Super Mario? The, the first, the, no, the first one. Snow not, level. It is snow level. It's it's it, it, Oh, you're talking about what's well, not like it's not like it's, you're talking about Super Mario Two. No, the first one. There's have you have you been through all the levels? Have yeah, been, but there's no like ice or anything. I know there's not ice, but it's actual snow, and it's kind of it's hard for me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't that, know. That's a true story. Yeah, I remember like the night. There's like a level at night, and there's like a bunch of different ones, but yeah, I don't remember snow. Anyway, oh, I hated the night one. So so this is place is called what again? I'm sorry, short. Sure. Gamers Anonymous. Gamers Anonymous. Yeah, it's on Wyoming and Constitution, problems. right? Yeah, Wyoming and Constitution. There's also one on the West. There's a West Side store that just opened that's huge. They've got like... Which one's bigger? The, the West Side store is humongous. <laughs> Mine is. <laughs> um, they've got they've got like arcade games set up over there speaking. that you can play for free. Uh, like at the West Side store, they got like Street Fighter Third Strike, uh, X Men, or, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And stuff that you can you can play for free. Um, if you do they have there. that ethnic superhero game called Mexmen? <laughs> they haven't gotten uh, that one. Mexmen. Mexmen. I think that's a mod uh, for, <laughs> nice. for X Men versus Street Fighter nice. that hasn't come out yet. Have but, you seen? Oh, speaking of mods, just sorry to get no, off track, but speaking of mods, uh, I did read about this mod recently where it was. How like, old was she? <laughs> <laughs> the old mod. <laughs> Actually, mod that is a name, isn't it? Yeah, it's an old lady name. It's definitely an old lady name that's given to you at retirement. It comes along (laughs) with your AARP card. No one is born. Here you go. (laughs) Yeah, you get your new. It's like the uh, the dinner's at five. Yeah, it's like the uh, (laughs) mod. It's like anonymous. There's no Herberts. There's no like Herberts Herberts. under fifty. There's Jerry Herbert. Oh, he's fifty. Actually, never mind. (laughs) He's never gonna listen to this until he's on. Yeah, and even then, he'll only listen listen while he's on. So that's only through the headphones, like us. (laughs) (laughs) Until somebody unplugs it. Hey, we're actually at the point where we don't exceed our listenership as far as people in in the apartment. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's fucking yeah. We get awesome. more live listeners than are generally in the apartment now. Okay. So that's fucking awesome. Okay. That is pretty awesome. And Thank Jerry, you. if you're if you're listening out there, Jerry, Jerry buddy, I love you, man. Uh well, we maybe all do. That's, but yeah. because you're not yeah. listening, um if you're not listening continue yeah, continue yeah, with the Aryan haircut. Well basically if you're not listening, fuck you. And if you're <laughs> listening, we love you. Yeah. How's that? Fair enough. <laughs> and then he, when you what come he, on, we'll love you. See how that works? Yeah. What if he listens at a later date? What if he listens later? <laughs> then we love him at that time, but at the time of the recording... It's like the a race. In, 
<laughs> yes, the intent. It depends. He can change like uh, whatever the intention is as long as he listens to it. So basically. this is like some, mean? this is like some quantum level. <laughs> exactly. Fuck you. <laughs> like, Not on, quite. Or the, yeah, there's a regular. There's no, regular, yeah, like, get, write get, it down. Fuck I get you. what he's saying. Depending on his interaction his, with his right. this action. podcast, it'll change right the now. outcome. This is like. Of how he experiences it, this is he tri- may hear the good message if he's listening. But if they, if he hears it, he's also hearing the "fuck you." So it's like, <laughs> well, and you know what? Well, I get, I get it. N- knowing Jerry, he will come on when, whenever he's booked, and he'll be like, uh, "Well, fuck you guys too." That's the first <laughs> thing he'll say when he says, "Ooh, will I get to kick somebody out?" <laughs> no, <laughs> that we didn't even ke- Jerry, kick Kevin Kennedy bad. out. They're talking about you, and you're not here. <laughs> so they must love you, man. Yeah. But sitting next to Will Bolt is uh, my buddy Uriah. I'll call him a freelance Uriah. agent who uh, is packing. I'm a stay at home dad. Stay at home. I'll just, I'll just call myself that. A for the stay moment. at home security. Like he's full time no, patrolling no, the a, place. Just a stay at home. Knock dad. two times if you're a friend. No. Oh, wait, no, that's the doorbell. Door- Knock two uh, times or you the get the double bell. tap. Because all my friends, I tell everybody, ring my doorbell a few times. Because most That's people, what she said. people uh, who I don't know, front door. they're going to go, ding, ding. My friends, I'm like, be an asshole with the doorbell. That way I know it's you. The more asshole you are, the more I know who it is. See, but you're not a dog owner at the moment. You don't have to worry about dogs just freaking the fuck out anytime somebody starts hitting the doorbell multiple times. My dog would You remember my out. Dalmatians and I what the fuck them. they would do if somebody even knocked. Because they were sound sensitive. Yeah. Also, That's there were the a hundred of them. That's not their fault. That was hundred and one, John. <laughs> no, no. One of them died of parvo. Oh. No. What? What? No. <laughs> you had a hundred and one Dalmatians, and one of them died of parvo. Oh. You've told that story before. My buddy, he uh, he had a pit bull puppy, and it died of parvo, and its name was Donut, and its brother's name was Duncan, so he had Duncan and Donut, and the the other one died so of parvo, so he said, I'm going to get another puppy, and I'm going to name it Parvo. That's horrible. It, that's horrible. It's in tribute. It's in tribute to Donut. Okay. So it'll be Duncan Parvo. It'll it's sound like a football player. Say. It'll sound like a football hey. player. Go down there, Holmes. Yeah, but then so then w- the point is though is that like whenever somebody says, "Oh, what happened to Donut?" They'll be like, "Oh, Parvo killed him," and we'll be like, "And you didn't have him put down?" Like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, like, no, Parvo transcended time to kill Donut. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's a quantum doc. See, we're this is a physics podcast. Exactly. Once again. Not a comedy podcast. <laughs> It's so like my cousin, Baby Joker, his pit bull died over the weekend. It was like driving and it was hanging out the window. He had corona too many. And, so wait, John, John. And I'm not done with my story, so, Holmes. Uh, and uh, the the pit bull, he uh, took a well, tumble out of happen. he took a tumble out of out of the uh, the car. Right. Remember who's at the microphone mixer. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is an actual story. I was trying to give it some ethnic spice, but oh. if you guys don't want me to fucking thrum, be in thrum, character, thrum, 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 um, thrum, thrum, well, <laughs> I'm trying to give it the fucking essence you want. I'm adding a soundtrack to it. That's not a soundtrack. <laughs> you know, it's not even. <laughs> that is not a soundtrack. That's just a bunch of noises <laughs> combined together. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I thought I sounded like Michael Winslow. <laughs> You didn't get a helicopter noise. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you do Michael Winslow. And then you do an ambulance. Amper lamps, right? <laughs> nice. I didn't say amper lamps. I said ambulance. <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen the amper lamps? You've never seen the amper the lamps? The angry old guy on the oh, bus. Oh, this uh, old dude with a mega beard kicks the fuck out of this, epic yeah, this beard one man. dude. Yeah. 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 And uh, he, he punches this guy who was giving him some shit. And, like, he was an old war vet and shit. And, uh... And uh, the guy was like, I need an amber lamps. So they play that song, uh, Black Betty. Huh. It's like, whoa, Black, Black Betty. Betty amber lamp. Amber lamp. lamps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then they cut it with him going, amber lamps. <laughs> so every time it's like of the perfect like, fucking timing. Like, amber lamps. Okay. <laughs> Guess I got to check that you out. You should watch it. All right. Yeah, it Have we said that's Royal Wood yet? Um, no, I, think I don't think so, but I think everybody would know. This is the long longest one, intro we've ever done. This, this is going is on 15 This minutes. is not an intro. This is the show, people. We're just going to introduce each other the whole time. We already said Will Bolt. We already said Uriah, right? Uriah. Uriah? Like your analysis? Almost? <laughs> I'll, like, I'm I've not, heard I'm, better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be like, I'm just trying to make sure Uriah, right? Yeah, it's Uriah. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, where, uh, where is that name from, by the way? Like, What's yeah. the origin of that name? It's biblical. So it's not real? 
So what did? Oh, oh well, that's no, harsh. No. Look, just because just because it's based. I admit, I'm a great person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just because it's based on a myth doesn't make it not real. It's it's a real book. It's just based on bullshit. But. I've seen people be named Odin. So yeah. I know a guy named Thor. My my granddad. Anyways, yeah. um, some guy you met on Craigslist, Stephen Hunt. I've never <laughs> met him, was, but I always actually, hear about him. <laughs> it was actually a fat life, but anyways. Um, <laughs> No, so it's biblical. What did Uriah do in the Bible? Do you know? Uh, yeah, he was uh, he was a general in uh, King David's army, and King David wanted his wife Bathsheba. Shit got so, real. yeah, she got real. Like he was the he was I'm like just talking about in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, it uh, he was the general for uh, King David, and so David wanted his wife Bathsheba. So, oh yeah, David sent Uriah to the front lines. <laughs> this uh, is the same he David. Died. I die at the end, but it's all right. Everybody's. Uh, lifespan on a time. Everybody goes dies to zero. at the end. Well, and, and just a little, a little. <laughs> but he did the Contra code before, so he came back to life. There you go. Yeah, there and you it, go. <laughs> it's the same David. The David who sent that guy to his death is the same guy who slung shot uh, Goliath. So that's kind of funny because uh, he's like, "I'm king now. I'll just fuck anything that moves." Yeah. The funny thing is, is I I don't really read the Bible. Mm-hmm. I just happen to know. Yeah, that you have to have that else. answer loaded up for anybody who asks. Oh, that's uh, yeah, a biblical yeah, name, actually. right? Oh, dude. It's I've like, oh yeah, I'm the complete life. opposite. I, I, Wait for me to disappoint you. <laughs> yeah, so I might as well give him. It's something interesting, you know. Everybody always asks me about my name, so I might as well give him the story behind it. Yeah, that was your parents' gift to you when you were born. Is they're like, you know what? I want my son to to have a lot of explaining to do in his life. Let's <laughs> give him this name. Da 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 da. His parents. Hey, his his parents were real. I love Lucy fans. They wanted him to have the, a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, is my I'm parents. I'm done with you. In. I am done with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if this is your house. You need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I won't pay rent. I'll just oh, stay here. This for is like, just <laughs> starting. <laughs> right. The oh. funny thing is, my parents. They were never even into the Bible or anything else. I think it was kind of just off of a whim that they named me that off of a whim off of a whims, whimsical folly if you will so hey hey first of all i got john Car- john coyar wait 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 um, we haven't finished with your introduction yeah oh no no because my introduction is going to be a whole bunch of plugs so friend of the show no, roy. No, 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 <laughs> actually this is a friend of the show podcast we've had everybody on before mm-hmm. yeah oh, so royal royal yeah um john. how's it going I was going great, John. Nice. Matter of fact, Good forget question. my plugs. I'm gonna talk to you, John. How are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. But you, nice. I think I want to talk about you a little bit. You, yeah, you we all want to talk about you. Oh, you, guys, you guys. Where the fuck were you last you night? Got... I'm missing some shit. See, uh, you know <laughs> what? It's probably at the pawn shop. So shit. You may want to go pick it up. You've got uh, an interesting middle name. I do. It's, Stand up, um, shut down. That's yeah. really weird. Yeah, actually, right. actually, no, I changed it because this motherfucker over here, John Coyer, <laughs> said some shit. Matter of fact, John was like, oh, uh, Facebook is compensating for this motherfucker because my name took up like two to three lines. And I'm like, no, I'm. But I said mofo. You did say <laughs> mofo. Because it you, was pretty hilarious. I just saw it and I was like, uh, hungover, I think. And I was like, look at that shit. <laughs> like, and he it's changed so his name to something really long. And uh, now Facebook has to accommodate his ass it basically it was a uh people who would like potential problems podcast thank you by the way and uh there was a solid row on facebook of of names and everybody's name had that that uh like check check mark next to it and uh uh his was the only one that had like a another column because his name was so long it branched out into another column i just thought that was uh very uh unusual there's an interesting story how do you feel about that do you feel um, well, <laughs> what's the story behind that? You're about to tell it. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. My middle name's Albert. My my real name, middle name is Albert. Ooh, the feds. Okay, okay. Go- my first name's Alan. Oh, okay, That's and cool. I have middle name Philip. That's never fun. Okay. That's never fun. Okay. It's lazy on my parents' part. They just, he just they just reversed his name. Hey, I respect that just because of the fact that it's still a name, baby. Some people don't even have names. They just have symbols question mark but that just makes me question if my dad had a grammatical problem and just thought if i write it this way it'll be the exact same as my name but uh it was one of those weird things the only reason why i can't i can't give you an answer because i don't know your dad so that's just it however with that being said um it's okay i worked in a salsa factory i didn't know him either <laughs> we worked in the same place John, no. which was a salsa factory <laughs> yeah i can vouch for that yeah <laughs> and so i was at this um i was at this rap show right and so one of my friends where was this rap show the rap show was actually over at the the moon uh the moon the uh overall on the west side the uh smoke shop over there 
You know, something I've noticed about rap shows that I've gone to out here uh-huh. is that everybody kind of in the crowd kind of considers it their point to get attention and rap the entire songs. <laughs> so it's like they're trying to make that their moment to keep up kind of thing. I, I can't say yes and I can't say no just because of the fact that I can't speak for anybody else but myself. But I think the people, that, I think the people that do that should go all in with it and get involved in the victim side of drive-by shootings. Oh, the victims. Because they're the trying victims. to make the concert about them. Just enjoy the fucking music. Oh, that's... <laughs> John, why is Sorry, so I angry? I don't know. You think right, this is right bad? Listen to the shit, last dude? podcast. It's the only show where people left immediately. <laughs> yeah, that was actually really kind of surprising. Alan's but, like, everybody left for some reason. I was like, I don't know why, Alan. <laughs> Nobody shook his hand. It just got the coat and left. But, all right, my story's getting Wait, too long. Wait, who left? I wanna... a- everybody. I mean, they didn't we leave the like... show early. They left right after we finished. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought you were saying like they walked out and like, fuck this. I mean, They're like, no, and then out the door. I did but. take my dick out at the end of the show, so I don't know. That was probably in- inconsequential, but... Maybe maybe saying, it was like a combo move. I doubt nah. John. To be fair, I doubt anybody noticed. No, I'm sure they did. Oh. I'm sure they did. God, a, he got a burning. <laughs> he got a mini me. Oh, but uh, don't argue with me on this point. Well, come on, jeez, <laughs> prick. Uh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my, one of my friends said he kept on saying my middle name, like my full name, and I was like. Mm. Man, why you keep on uh, saying my full name? He's like, well, you have it on Facebook. That's how the Fed's going to get you. I was like, you know what? <laughs> you're right. So I had to change it to that random ass bullshit. But then I, <laughs> I was like, after you said that, I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm growing to be an adult because my birthday, surprisingly, is like next week. Really? Like next week, uh, Wednesday. So um, I had to actually become an adult and shit next How old are you going to be? I'm going to be 28. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Damn, that's so young. Honestly, yeah, it, it, it is. Will Bolt, how old are you? You know, I'm getting up there. How old are you? I'm 36, so... 33. Trey, 33. Trey. You don't look 33. Not at really. all. You yeah, look you in your early 20s. Yeah, you shaved. <laughs> yeah, that's what he get mad yeah. at me to Like, you're 22. I'm like, no, at 11. Yeah. Do your math, bitches. How is this... How is getting defeated by Lil Wayne, like, an insult? Because, like... Because Lil Wayne isn't very good. Unless it's a I scissor mean, okay, drinking no, contest, well, then he could probably. I mean, probably. All right. we, <laughs> I like me and, me and Royal are just like, all right, you all know right. what? We'll just we'll just let that go because this is not a rap this, podcast. Yeah, this is not so we're just gonna, yeah, okay. We're, we're, we're gonna move on to more pressing matters. Uriah, how old are you, man? I'm 24. No, are you shitting me? No, no, he's see, not. See, one of the Fuck. oldest people here looks you like one are... of the youngest people here, and one of the youngest people here looks like one of the oldest people it's here. The it's the beard. It is the beard. It is the beard. It's fucking beard majestic, beard. isn't Daniel it? Bryan. <laughs> yeah, look, I can't grow that shit, and I'm like 12 years older. And see, I, I had to. Sh- I had an audition today, so I had to shave. <laughs> I, I had an audition today, so I had to shave. Otherwise, I do prefer to have a beard because it. What'd you have an audition for? Uh, just a, a TV show for free homes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, guys. I'm, I'm gonna bring something up real fast because before I, I got, I gotta, I gotta ask John. All right, yeah. matter of fact, I'm gonna tell the cat tell the story real fast. Do it because you're because you're part of the story. Wait, what is it? What does it involve? It involves a pool. No, you can't tell that story. <laughs> oh shit! No, it's not. It's not even anything bad. Uh, go for Let's it. go for it. All right. So Let's be controversial. We're not even being controversial. Uh, oh. So here's what happened. Uh, me and my good friend, Mikey Mays. Shout out to Mikey Mays. Uh, hey, we to- what's up, Mikey? We're going to have him on soon, actually. Oh, oh that's Mikey what's up. Mays. I don't know him, but I've heard of him. Hello. <laughs> so um, we went to a pool party that our friends went to, uh, friends was having. Um, it, was, it was a colorful cast of uh, characters that you have never seen. It was uh, me, uh, Mr. John Coyar. Uh, Mikey Mays, um, the white Michael Jordan, the white Michael Jordan. You're right, uh, Judas. The, f- Ev- the funny white Michael Jordan. This this is true. Um, Judas Edwards, He's a wonderful lady, um, and Mary Bird, and some other broads. Some broads. <laughs> there were some, some broads. Some mods, as broads. we were saying earlier. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just sitting there, and everybody's talking, and then I look over, and I see John. John looked dead to the world. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, just I, laying I out so drunk. So fucked up, man. <laughs> I, asked, awesome. I was like, John, you are right? He was like, yeah, 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 I'm good. I just ate. <laughs> it was nice. I just ate talk a lot. I was like, oh, all right, John. Were you at that perfect point of fucked up where you sort of took a picture and posted it to Facebook that I saw? 
Uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and look at you. You was worried. You was worried. No, it was shit. just like, a picture. Say some random it was just shit. a picture wow. of the pool. There's nobody in it. Empty pool. Oh yeah. Was didn't that look, tif- no, that was just Snapchat. Didn't look like much fun. Snapchat. Oh yeah. So yeah, Snapchat. that was my story. Why the fuck are you on Snapchat? You kind of. Why do you think? Uh, nah. You kind of well, you know, to share things, things with friends and no. to be. It's like oh, as that, an that entertainer. Explains, that explains a lot of people the dick would want to follow. Yeah. No. <laughs> Snapchat no. says all of it. No, all that needs to be said is Snapchat. Not. No. Does not. I have a lot of younger friends. What's the big deal? That does Jeez, not sound get off my any better. Fucking back, <laughs> <laughs> fucking John. You swearolas. saying wearolas? John, you saying I have younger friends does not sound. I'm that doesn't help your. That doesn't help your claws at all. <laughs> it doesn't. Sorry. If anything, that comment just got stricken from the records. Oh, you, know. you guys have seen what I. Put no, in, the jury. So. <laughs> hey, bro, the jury heard that comment. They are not forgetting. Oh, it man, almost sounds like right. you need some advice, <laughs> like you got today. <laughs> do you, oh, do you have? So we're gonna go yeah. to recess. <laughs> don't get on the swings. Um, yeah, is that is that self serving to play that? I don't know if I'm comfortable with playing that. Just well, because then it's like because look, it was kind of a joke on you. Is okay, do it, do it, so, do it. Do it. Uh, I called into Jim Norton's advice line. Jim Norton, you guys know who Jim Norton is. I, I saw the Opie picture on your Facebook about how. Um, but he was he was around before Opie and Anthony too, right? Uh, he's been in the business about twenty years, and okay. he joined Opie and Anthony in about two thousand, I think it was. And uh, did he ever write for SNL or anything like that? No, oh, okay. he's like just total pure stand up, and uh, he's done things for Leno. He's really dirty. His stand up specials are fucking dirty and horrific, but they're awesome. He's hilarious, dude. And so he has this advice show. So I've called into it before, and so this time I called in, and I was the first caller up. Oh no, no, no. yeah, I yeah. was the first yeah. caller up, and he was like, uh, I was like, holy fuck. Well, the first time I talked to him, it was him, and it was uh, Rich Voss, I believe. Oh, that's helpful. And, uh, <laughs> you know what you should do. <laughs> exactly, exactly, dude. <laughs> and I called in, and I was telling him about this girl who uh, was who had dumped me and gone out with this other guy and I still lived in the same apartment complex complex so I told him about that and then so I called him this time to like uh, cause he actually sent a tweet and I get like three or four celebrity tweets his is one of them and so he tweeted out that his call in show was starting so I was like oh fuck yeah I'll call in and I was like oh fuck what do I call in about and I was already dialing in listening and I was like oh shit okay so they come the screener comes on he's like uh where are you from and I was like John from Albuquerque he's like okay I'll be right back and like wait like two minutes and then he's like Okay, what do you want to talk about? And I was like, uh, I want to talk about addictive personalities and uh, stand up and uh, whatever. And he's like, okay. And then so like I hear as I hear Jimmy Norton like I'm I'm fed through. And you can always hear when you call you're into a hold. show. Yeah, yeah, it's like <laughs> you hear like a noise, and then boom, you're on with the host. And so it's like John in Albuquerque, and then like all of a sudden it was like <laughs> to John the, in Albuquerque. Hi, John. It was so awesome. He just dropped. They said, oh, God. He said he had a question about addictive behavior and his personality. So maybe John went to act out. Who knows? Maybe he's <laughs> oh. me and he's on the Internet. And he went to a giant porn site and he had to whack off to some uh, some whatever <laughs> cuckold porn or transsexual <laughs> stuff. Whatever else That's it is I enjoy. Awesome. All right. Alex in Michigan. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset. Yeah. Do you do you have the entire call? I have the entire. I don't want to play it. Yeah, no, I, no. I figure that sums up fucking, everything. Yeah, it does, dude. Oh it's my gosh, he knows awful. you so well. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's fucking... like a friend of a friend. Like shit. <laughs> oh shit. Probably fell back into it. Is looking up some cuckold or some trendy porn. <laughs> uh, uh, so my point being, uh, Jim Norton <laughs> has an awesome advice call-in show. It's on Sirius XM, and it's on Wednesday. Was a Wednesdays usually at one p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, so okay. that's like uh, 11. Yeah, listen in for John calling about his problems. Uh, I just did it the twice times. The so. twice times. <laughs> you should become a regular caller, John. I might. I don't know. I, I kind of threw in there in this last call, I threw in there about stand-up and how sometimes it's kind of... Uh, trying to get on his radar all sneaky. No, no, not really. Cause he, Michael Winslow, hey, helicopter. Hey, Jimmy. With the, <laughs> but dude, that's the thing. Like, I, um, having talked to like, a couple people, like, those... 
when they're at that level, they don't give a shit about they really don't us. like our realm. Well, of, and yeah. I fucking gave our podcast card to Ari Shavir and just like, oh, I probably won't listen to it. Yeah, well, how many? Like, well, let's just say it. those, right? I, were, I, I did background on Million Ways to Die in the West, um, the Seth MacFarlane film, and Sarah Silverman's on that. And like one day during set, there was kind of some downtime, and I was like, oh my god, Sarah Silverman! So hey, you got to like, get her fucking so attention went up, yeah. in so a I went way up, she's interested. Well, no, she was like kind of standing off by with her friend, and I went up, I was like, hey, Sarah Silverman, like I'm a huge fan, and she was like really very like welcomingly she was totally cool to like talk to me but i told her i did stand up and she's just like oh nice like <laughs> that's cute. just dismissive like, oh, oh that's why you that's oh. why you're here and i'm you're talking to me right no yeah. <laughs> but she was like i mean she was really i just want to re- like emphasize she was very nice and she's like oh that's really cool like you know do you guys have a lot of shows here i was like yeah we don't really have a comedy club anymore but you know, we do what we can, and she was just like, oh, "Okay, cool. Well, bye." <laughs> it was like, so I mean, just like, and not that they should. I mean, they, how you many should. how many open micers are there in America? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's twelve like thousand five. A million. <laughs> nah, there's like thirty. That's very different numbers. Yeah. yeah. You mean That's America Ferrera, the girl from uh, Ugly Betty? Uh, Ugly Betty. She turned hot though. She was very hot. Yeah. After yeah. they took off the makeup from filming, she's always been hot. Well, yeah, yeah but yeah. I'm just saying, like, just like as a person. Oh. Did you see that picture of her butthole on Snapchat? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, it's not there. So, <laughs> yeah, in general, in general, radio shows are weird. Like, since I was I was on a uh, Coyote last week on Monday, yeah, like last Monday morning with Erica Viking and stuff, and uh, oh yeah, they were talking about how Pearl Jam Eddie Vedder started singing the Frozen song "Let It Go" through one of the songs. And yeah. it was kind of a weird thing. And I started riffing on Pearl Jam and Eddie Vedder, and apparently I got too outrageous with what the fuck I was saying. Well, you can be outrageous sometimes. I know, but... Did you say fuck a lot? No, that's the thing. I was being completely Did you clean. say cunt a lot? Uh, I don't know. Um, did you say boobies? I didn't... I don't think so. If you don't think so, then you probably said boobies. Okay, let's hear what you said. What yeah. Did, what did you say? All right. <laughs> Do you love this? It's Pearl Jam performing live in Milan, Italy. They're doing Daughter right here, but wait for it. Uriah, you'll appreciate this. You have a kid. What is that, Erica? Like I've never seen Frozen. Eddie Vedder and the boys of Pearl Jam in the middle (laughs) of Daughter. They jump in to let it go from Frozen. It's a mashup, y'all. I always think it's nobody is. First of all, I'm just mad he said it's a mashup, y'all. That's not the coolest thing you can ever say. It's really not, especially for Pearl Jam, though. Like, why the fuck would they even kind of go to it? Well, why the fuck would they, like, go to that in the middle of Daughter? Like, that's some bullshit. Yeah, it really is. That's, like, one of my favorite songs from back in the day. And they're going to just fuck it up? Yeah. But are you guys ready for the outrageous part? Because apparently this was out of control for morning radio. Look, I'm going to tell you this right now. Local morning radio is, and they have guidelines. No, I'm going to tell you this right now. If it's not outrageous as how you explain it to be, I'm coming across this fucking table, okay? Let's just do it like that. At least least wipe it up when you're done. Yeah, I'll probably have to. Yeah. Uh, Ah, you got me. You got me. I don't need the dog jumping up on here and trying to clean it for me. Not, Not Cujo Jr., (laughs) <laughs> yeah. All right, but All back. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Sam, going into it. Yeah, like how can, how can the singer of Pearl Jam be so affected by the movie that he's like, hey, I got to write something about it. No, hey, listen, hey, that's hey, people hey, love hey, it, man. Hey. It's a fantastic All right, calm song. Down over there. <laughs> <laughs> Young Alan down. in studio. He's, he's full of fire. He and is, and I like it. I I love it. So yeah, and I see. Wasn't that outrageous? You're a I was terrible full person. Of fire. I was full of fire because I did an Eddie Vedder impression. Okay, what the fuck? Wait, was that it? <laughs> that was it. Was that it? I that didn't was hear it. anything. I didn't hear anything. Oh, you didn't? I, well, I couldn't hear you doing anything. Like, I heard Erica and everybody else, but... Oh, that's weird. I did, what did you do? Exactly? So, that was outrageous? That was wow. outrageous for, so, so, for nine in the morning. I'm not gonna lie. I want to say that <laughs> all of them are Caucasian people. Wait, 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 wait. I want to say that all of them are Caucasian people because I know for a fact that I don't think anybody of my skin tone would be listening to that, first of all, early in the morning because I don't even wake up that early. But the fact of the matter is, that wasn't outrageous at all. It wasn't. I don't even I don't even understand. How was I, I like full how of fire? like they were fire. trying to cover you up right away. They were like, oh, he's oh he's just young. Yeah, don't, don't listen worry. to him, man. Don't worry about No, him. no, no, don't listen. Uh, they must have thought I was like besmirching that Eddie That was better. pretty dismissive, like being just like, young Alan, like how like diminutive of them to make yeah. you like, But at the beginning of it, I, at the beginning of it, I told the story about how I worked in a salsa factory as a young kid. 
and that how that went into my work ethic as a person. And they're like, oh, so you do a podcast and stand-up comedy? You're so young. We today could take lessons from you. But it's like, no, you guys get paid to do this shit. To yeah. Be, to be on for 20 minutes every two hours. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? I need to learn from you guys. Back-to-back tracks yeah. at 8 o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> we know the first thing you ha- you don't want to hear in the morning when you have a hangover is talking. Mm-hmm. It's 11.05 in the morning. We all know. Sure. <laughs> Fucking, they're on from six to ten. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh well, <laughs> that sh- early. You know what? Fuck it. I forgot the times. That was my fault. Yeah. Everybody here knows that I listen to one hundred one point three in the morning, and Royal listens to one hundred six point three in the morning. He's <laughs> like a double J guy, <laughs> and I'm like the honestly, fucking- I don't even listen to the radio. I really don't at all. I I don't ever ever. Well, not ever, John. Not ever. What do I listen to? Ooh. Um. Wait. 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 Oh, wait. you are wait, obviously wait. a fan of the Edge. Obviously Wait, I was gonna ask with him all the pre beard. I was gonna ask him pre beard or uh, uh, post beard. Because pre beard, it should be pre pause or pre uh, not pause. Because the way they deliver things now, uh, no, he's talking about it's very decks. stop and go. But we're talking about Will Bolt's. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, beard. Oh, beard. No, but what do you what do you think I listen to really? Um, Alan, you go first. What do you think he listens to? Uh, I would probably say ninety five five KHFM classical music. That's not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. I thought that's, that's what I leave on for my dog when I'm at work. I thought 95.5 was um the the uh, top forty. So you're saying like, like you're saying that I'm like a dog waiting for no. her to come <laughs> home. No, that's what I am. Whenever I walk around, whenever I walk around, people just look at me and they're like, "That guy looks like he's missing his owner." <laughs> <laughs> I better put on some classical music and put down a water bowl. <laughs> hey, <laughs> five oh one is his favorite time of the day. <laughs> That's when it's mandatory. mandatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got, like, I, got, I got you, Royal. Oh, I got I'm glad you. you're there. It's like those stations have cl- like wacky shit like mandatory Mozart at 5 o'clock. Uh, it's like, oh, isn't that living wild? That's the kind of station you would expect an Eddie Vedder impression to be outrageous. I know, right? All right, John, what do I listen to? You got this. I, uh, I My guess is The Edge. Okay. Royal? Uh, in the morning, we're talking, right? Yeah, in the morning. Okay. The morning radio. Uh, pre, uh, pre-shaven, I would honestly say... Like the artsy, I want the pre- artsy. What the station artsy. is that? I don't know. Like Thank I just said, I don't listen to the radio. Like how Hello. am I supposed to fucking tell you? Hello, this is this is ninety seven point two, the artsy. Well, We're okay. here with all your favorite paintings. No, how the fuck are you gonna supposed to talk about? Pa- you know me, Will. <laughs> you know me, but no, honestly, like I will see, like I just like, I, like I the Mozart in the in the Bach and shit. Right? I love the idea though of like a radio station that plays paintings. They're like it's just silence, and they're like, "Oh, <laughs> that was a Van Gogh." Hey, um, <laughs> that was a Picasso. We, that was that was Starry Night by Van Gogh. Um, uh, you could just hear the paint strokes. <laughs> we were uh, we were listening to the scream, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Uriah, do you want to make a guess about what I listen to in the morning? Yes, he does. Uriah? Let's, uh, I'll say, I'll say 94 Rock. Why not? So and what do you listen to in the morning, so William? In the morning, my preference is uh, 89.9 KUNM. Oh, uh, I like yeah. to to morning yeah, edition, which too. I kind of want to. I want to say you were in the right ballpark with that. And same with Alan with the ninety five five. You guys uh-huh. both kind of had the right feel. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like. I like. I re- I personally I love talk radio, so I like news and um, you know podcasts and those okay. kind of things. So I really like listening to eighty nine nine. And they talk a lot about a lot of what I feel are like interesting topics. And um, I really like shows like uh, Native American Calling and stuff because. Okay. See, I have to change it once it, okay, once the, because, you know, the classical, the awesome, <laughs> this may surprise you folks, but the, the one of the best sh- things that is on radio right now is Performance Today. Performance from, Today is awesome. On uh, 89.9. 89.9 from 9 to 11. Mm-hmm. And Isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> it's a conspiracy. It is a conspiracy. 9 to 11. And, uh, <laughs> and so. <laughs> so that sounds so smart right now, which is odd. But uh, <laughs> it's yeah, it's funny. People who still hang on to that shit. Oh. So it is. It is a, a, a at eleven o'clock. Native uh, Native American Colin show starts. Okay. And I'm is that his with, name? Uh, yes, it's Native American name. Colin, and he's Caucasian too. No, uh, <laughs> uh, well, it's one sixteenth. <laughs> well, and it's this Colin show for Native Americans, agree. but it's <laughs> it's always it's very. It's issues don't concern me, and it's right. awesome. No, but but that's the thing is that like I mean don't concern me. I mean that's the problem though is that like 
or that's why I think it's interesting to listen to is because yes, definitely. there are a lot of, you know, native people out there who I feel listening to that. It's like, I've become more aware of just how, um, marginalized they are in like our government and yeah. everything like they have no voice or representation, but yet they're still being affected by a lot of things that happen in our courts and system. Like the fact that we still have any say over what happens on like reservations, like they can't sell alcohol. Yeah. That was an interesting episode once where they were talking about how, um, native people in, you know, the first nations people in, in the North America were making, were, uh, fermenting, like corn and stuff long before Europeans ever came here. Yeah. But yet there's still this like regulation where we say like, oh, you guys can't have alcohol on your reservations. Yeah. Which, it, interesting fact, I took a um, a class on a on a like health and disease and stuff uh, when I was in college, and one of the leading causes amongst Native Americans is uh, is um, freezing to death because no um, all you know you can't get alcohol on the res. So if you want to go to a bar. You have to go off res, and a lot of people they don't want to like drink and drive or whatever, so, so they walk. walk. Yeah. So they go, and what happens is when you drink alcohol, as much as it makes you feel warm, this is the educational part of the show. Everybody. It's you the opposite. Lose the it actually yeah. constricts. This is the more you yeah. know so, section. Yeah. So alcohol. Don't actually, worry, we'll it, sully it in a few minutes. It makes you feel warm, but it's actually making your body colder. It makes your body less able to generate heat. Family so, guy taught me that. Nice. So thank you, Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. So you go, you walk to a bar in the middle of winter, and especially like you know some of the reservations. Are like up north where it's really fucking cold yeah. and you get drunk and then you walk home and freeze to death yeah so we're that's the, the government's new plan to kill native americans well and and also yeah. another leading <laughs> fucking another leading that one was also <laughs> a I'm, like one, I'm like a one fourth or one eighth or something Indian, yeah so. me, my, my great grandma was a choctaw indian princess and nice like, yeah my my uncle and like my my granddad were like really into that and i didn't really yeah, yeah, I'm part like Potamanawi, and uh, po- I didn't even say that right. What? That's fucking. <laughs> I didn't even say that right. That's fucking Isn't Star Wars. Yeah, no, it's it not. God damn it, John. No, it's not. <laughs> no, Potawatomi in uh, Moundville. That's a, it was like a tribe in uh, Alabama. I actually went down to see him. Well, Gazoontight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part Abenaki. <laughs> <laughs> say that one. Hey, you well, got it. Tight, all right? Hey, hold on, hold on. No, nobody. Padme. Nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nobody saw this, but John <laughs> pulled his shirt like it was a pair of suspenders when he said Gazoontide right now. Like, <laughs> I own a plantation down in the field. <laughs> oh, he's Jerry Seinfeld wearing rainbow suspenders in that one what episode. What is the deal with this heat? This was a tough crowd. <laughs> Let's go of it. <laughs> uh, what were you talking about? The last thing you were talking about, Will Bolt? Native American people dying because we, <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, 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 let's go back we to that. We well, can't another stop killing let's, them. Let's take it down a notch, guys. Another leading cause of death, or, or COD, technically, as they say, is call of, another call of duty. <laughs> Yes, is vivisection by Amtrak. So I think that's probably vivisection. another way. That, yeah, uh, yeah when they're alive and they're cut in half by. Oh, vivisection. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That's... I know. It's wait, wait, horrible. Wait, wait. We got to get on top they of this shit. Wait, 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 wait. So, so, what are you, <laughs> so what was the thing again? Like they lay on the tracks? Well, yeah. You have a couple drinks. You lay down on some tracks. I mean, whatever. Who doesn't? They're trying to, they're <laughs> trying to be. No, they're, see, I don't get drunk and lay no, on tracks. Let I'm me sorry. explain. Let me explain. They're trying to be rappers. They want to go lay down some tracks, but they just have the <laughs> order mixed up. Alan, this will be the second time I tell you to leave your own fucking house. Leave your own house. I want you to lay wait. Down no, some no, tracks, no. Alan, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take your keys. I want you to get a fucking pillow and a blanket. I want you to sleep right in front of the leasing office. So when they open, you can tell them that you're going to leave your fucking house because the, the six foot four black guy told you to leave. Okay, <laughs> I'm done with you. They'll be like, I'm "This is the this. second one this week." <laughs> there goes the That's neighborhood. That's how he gets kicked out of most of his apartments. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, hey guys. I really you? couldn't I? help it. It was just, too good of an opportunity. Just because Royal brought this up, so I don't know how people. So this is such a stupid thing to talk about, but I'm I'm six foot. Royal six four. Uh, I don't what? know how people under six foot feel about it, but for some reason, like I'm seven. As soon as you. <laughs> Well, yeah, so you wouldn't have any idea. If yeah. you're seven feet, John Coyar is a giant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a giant of Brianna Oh, we're talking about he's, height. He's Never a giant mind. of comedy. Um, but, like, I don't know how people under six foot feel, but, like, for me, it's like I get so angry when I'm around people who are just any bit taller than me because it makes me feel so right? short. Oh, there's um one of the – he's not a he's not a doorman or whatever, but one of the guys who works over at a Back Alley – shout out to Back Alley anyway – Um. Yep, yeah, I'm plugging the shit out this motherfucker. No. Um, no, he was back alley. Drew Wayne, <laughs> booyah. Um, 
there's super a, kick. There's a plug area at the end. You oh yeah, there's now yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. But um, <laughs> there's a guy who was like maybe like an inch taller than me, and I got pissed because yeah. if you guys if know you me, get angry. Yeah, yeah, like don't be taller than me. I'm supposed to be the tall one. Don't know. <laughs> well, like when I tell people, I'm the prom princess, and I um, tell people, I tell people like, yeah, you know, I, I I'm kind of short, and they're like. Dude, you're you're not short. You're like above average height, and I'm like, yeah, but all my friends are like six three, six four. Yeah. So I'm the short guy. Yeah. It's fucking annoying. Yeah, I don't. These, these are tall people problems. <laughs> tall people problems. People that nobody understands. Hashtag tall people problems. Hashtag we know what the top of the fridge looks like. But <laughs> 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 Hashtag yes, I will get you that box of cereal from the top <laughs> shelf. <laughs> Hashtag you can't get it because you won't be able to reach it, bitch. Oh, Hashtag I gotta lay down for you to give me a blowjob. Hashtag <laughs> that's a long Thanks one. Thanks for the box of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag actually the weather is nice up here. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag could you tie my shoe? It's a long way down. Hashtag can we stop doing these hashtags now? Yes, sound? please. Okay, good. All, All right. right, we're done. Hashtag okay. <laughs> oh, see that was a pleasant one. <laughs> it had meaning. It was short, sweet. You know, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Everybody enjoy. Is that gonna be the new like double speak from like 1984? Where like. Double speak. Yeah. So, did you read you, you, uh, Oh, you the book. A, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the double plus. I thought you meant the Van Halen album. I was like, what the fuck? See, why don't you tell him to get there. out of my apartment? I'm thinking because he has to leave your apartment because <laughs> he oh, doesn't yeah. stay here. That's right. <laughs> like he leaves here on. That's on, right. I forgot you were talking about long term. Yeah. Exactly. There's gonna be paperwork signed. Should just, I just go on the res and then go walk to a bar in the winter? Mm. They I don't want you to die. die. I just want oh, you to sorry. leave your apartment. That's it. It was that bad of a joke. It was. It was a, <laughs> I just want you to find a new place to stay. Don't die. See, that's why I have the lucky position. People kind of have to put up with me because I facilitate the thing. I, hey, so that's hey, kind of nice. But I, I put up with you by choice, not by chance. All right, okay. that's okay. it's comforting. Hey. hey. It's like a blanket that you're going to be sleeping with outside by the leasing office because you're still signing that fucking paperwork. <laughs> I brought it back, Will. Damn. I brought it back. <laughs> I have a lot. Royal. Yes. Oh, sorry. Everybody, me and William Bolt just did a fist pump. Well, Power Ranger style. Yeah. Oh, the, um, the black one was here. Um, this for, for Ace? Yeah. Is that the... Was he the black ranger? The Zach? Yeah. The one with the hair? Are you talking the, about uh, the guy who uh, was in Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris? He wasn't in Power Rangers. Oh, no, he's wasn't. No. It's just another Black Ranger. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? You go to your house. Do you no. think? Hey, All right. you know oh, what? It's royal. No, what? no, no, fuck that. Oh, you royal. go to your house. You get a sleeping bag or whatever the fuck you sleep with. You go in front of his leasing office. Royal. And you tell them that, no, no, I got to finish this. Ah. <laughs> you go in front of his leasing office and you tell them that you want to fucking get an apartment here so you can leave. Okay? Do you think, I will. Do you think there's a part? What's the actor's name? Zach Taylor. Do you think there's a part of Zach Taylor like he went and he auditioned for for the Power Rangers and like he gets uh-huh. a call back from his agent? And they're like, oh, you got it. They loved you. And he's like, yes. Then he shows up to like wardrobe the first day and they're like, here's your costume. And he's just like, holy fuck. But you know what's really you weird? Fucking kidding me. I don't know. How am I? How am I? Why can't I be the Red Ranger? Uh, well, why okay, can- but if. Okay, but can I say this? This is even weirder. I was searching Black Power Ranger, but before I typed Ranger... Someone from the Texas Rangers. No, the first option was Ranger, and the second was Movement. Is that... That's just that's just kind of interesting that the Black Power Ranger came up first. Uh, well, so he, there's more. It's, it's a more. It's a it's a heavy thing, but it's a heavy thing, Alan. <laughs> it's a heavy thing. <laughs> but back to what Will was talking about. Bonobo. Cool, you were Cujo Jr. Wrong. She is Cujo. Jr. Okay, there's two there's two different scenarios. All right, let's branch Let, this. Let's, hey, let's educate, branch this. Educate, educate. Okay, so let's say that he came in first, right? He was the first one on in on a the gang set. bang. <laughs> <sighs> he came in first. All right, John. You're, now, already, John. you're already out of your house. Okay, so it doesn't even now matter. you're John. You're giving me the keys to your truck. <laughs> you're walking truck. home. That you're is walking a, home. My truck is. But my don't home. go next to a bar though. <laughs> He's I don't know walking home. He needs more cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> but okay, this scenario, he gets there first, right? And so then he's like, "What the fuck?" But then he sees everybody else get there, and he's like, "Oh, okay." But then the second scenario, he gets there last, right? On CP time, aka color people time. Yes. <laughs> and so he gets there last, and he see everybody else in there, and he's and they give him the costumes. Like, well, I guess I got here last. So I mean, he could have like he. But like been. that's what I'm saying. So you're saying in the first scenario. He, he gets his and he's like kind of what the fuck but then he sees everybody like I still feel like he would be like well why can't I be the blue or the red ranger or yellow even like you know okay, those are three you know, alright alright we're gonna do I another. understand the 90s wasn't progressive enough for him to be the pink ranger yeah, but really like 
But even now, I guess we're not really there yet. But no. I'm just saying that still, there were three other colors he could have been. Okay. Why okay. did he had to be? Why he got to be the black man? Okay. So let's let's go back to the wayback machine and let's. <laughs> <laughs> does that take quarters? The Doctor Who wayback does it, machine. Does that take quarters? It, it does take quarters. If anything, and it does take five nickels. Um, just in case. All right. Let's let's go back and let's say the first episode of Power Rangers. Right. I'm not gonna lie. We maybe. We, Alan, I don't know about you, but I used to else? watch that shit. I was growing up. Oh, okay, okay. Give me okay. that much credit. Okay, so now let's say you just saw the first episode of Power Rangers, and okay. the black ra- uh, the black person Zach was in the Blue Ranger spot. I was jumping around Hi. in my underwear, holding a blanket. It was awesome. I remember it. Okay, well, that's Mike how Clark. young I was. All right. I'm just I, saying. Hey, 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 hey. Perspective. That's you, Alan Clark. Perspective. You. <laughs> I don't know how old you are. You might have been already fucking a chick by then. Well, it's already got to be. It's all got to be about you, Alan. No, I'm just. Royal saying. was telling a story, a nice story. <laughs> it, it was smooth. It had. It had. It had a plot progression. It had a. I don't know. But right, no, no. So so that it's fell a, off at the end of the series. So you see. Uh, so you see. Z- you see. Z- you see, you see Zach, Zach. Yeah, in the blue costume. In the blue costume. Right. What, okay. In your first. In your. In your head. What would you think? Now, mind you. Let's say. Let's say that Billy was in a black costume. What would you think? Well, honestly, honestly, what would you think? I mean, honestly, at twelve, I don't think I would have. I mean, I and I, I'm not saying that I'm the. <laughs> <laughs> she was just attacking her own ass. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, well, go ahead. All right, I'm not saying that what I'm thinking is what everybody else would have been thinking. But I honestly feel that at twelve, I wouldn't have like noticed something like that. Okay. I'm just saying it would have saved future generations from having this conversation. Right. I would have questioned their visual skills. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that but because it's a Japanese show originally? Technically, yeah. I don't know, but I just thought that was funny. Came you know, Power it? Rangers was original. The, <laughs> that is the not how I actually feel. The superhero Power Rangers were originally a Japanese TV show that was about saving forests and uh, going green. Well, didn't they like? But cut? then, but then we we took it and cut American actors American into actors it, and into then dubbed over the like voice. own storyline, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's just is that basic. Cool. So it was basically a TV show in Japan, and then they're like, "I know, let's." And cut. then we took it, changed it completely, and just used the fact that they their mouths weren't moving to change the story. The funny thing nice. about the funny thing that well, what me and Will were talking about the whole switching the Black Ranger to Blue Ranger. All right, this may sound super nerdy and super weird, but I actually watched like the latest version of the Power Rangers, yes. and the Black Ranger is actually the Blue Ranger, and the uh, the Blue Ranger is actually the the Black Ranger. Of course, See? they switched. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Did they get in a fight because they got black and blue all over? <laughs> I don't know because the Black Ranger was super nerdy, and I don't know. You know what? I'm not even gonna go into it. But yeah, it was just weird. Is the but, Yellow Ranger Ranger still Asian? No, they switched that up too. Did they? Yeah, the Yellow Ranger. Wait, was, was there like, ever? Yellow, yeah, Asian there was. Yeah, she she passed away actually. The original actress passed away. Yeah, because really. she died in a car accident, didn't yeah. she? Yeah, it was a yeah. car accident. Mm-hmm. It was like right after like somebody like a wedding or something. It was like really tragic. Yeah, boy, I bet she'd like to have that ring then. Well, I know <sighs> she didn't. I know she was I know her the, wedding. I know the actors don't exactly no, have no, a good reputation for ring. driving in that oh, country. Yeah. What what country was it? Japan. What? Uh, she what are you was in about? Japan. I'm just she was, no, no, because he was saying. <laughs> okay, that. hold on, hold on, real quick. Here's the thing. I I lived in Japan for three years. I lived. In, did. I, I was in China for three for about three or four months. Um. So here's the thing. Everybody, the drivers just, really aren't that bad. No. Here's the thing. It's not about bad or good. It's just different. So everybody in America wants to think like, oh, haha, Asians can't drive. They can drive. They just can't drive with us because they have a completely different approach to it. So like in China. When you're in China, everybody still does the whole swerving thing, but they're all doing it, and they're all aware of each other doing it. So the problem is, is when they come here. So it's like a wave of ants kind of moving together. Well, kind of yeah, thing. but it's this real like kind of cool flow. It's like it's like water. It just kind of go. The car goes wherever there's like an opening, and like they'll they'll pass each other like on the other side of the road or like whatever they have to do. Just wherever. So it's room. like a flash mob for cars. Yeah, and like <laughs> it's it's crazy because like when you're first there, you're like, holy shit, like. I'm going to die. And then yeah. after like a while, you're like, oh, this is just how it works here. But the, so what happens is like, you know, people who are born in, in China or whatever come here and they think that we drive like that. Yeah. And we totally don't. And no. so then they get into wrecks and everybody's like, oh, fucking Chinese driver. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm like. And in Japan, in Japan, and shit. but in Japan, the thing they do is they drive on the left side of the road, which is confusing. And, yeah. is, and isn't the driver's uh, the driver's side on the right side? Right, right exactly. Yeah. It's just like England. Yeah. Um, I heard they drive on the wrong side of the road. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I hate so much. Well, but but I in Japan, them. people they they drive very orderly. But then I heard that they like, drove on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> in well, Japan, well, I in hate Japan them. people don't. <laughs> in Japan, people don't carry fucking rifles into Target. No, they don't, huh? But there and was a guy. Starbucks. But while I was there, and actually, Chipotle and all those other fucking places, there was a guy while I was there who drove a car into the middle. I think of um, not Harajuku of. Uh, not Roppongi, where the hell? Uh, Akihabara, and like got out and stabbed. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, what is up with them and stabbing? Well, they like stabbing more than Latinos like stabbing. Well, it's, I mean, it's the same thing. Why <sighs> we have people who break down here and shoot everybody, but there it's like they have they don't have guns, so they just stab each other. They just stab. But that's the thing, though, is if if you just have a knife, you can only get to like three people before you. I heard out. that when they tackled him, they're like, "Hey, what the fuck are you doing?" He's like, "Sorry, I thought I was at a dinner party at Sharon Tate's house." Sharon, what? <laughs> John. Sharon Tate. John. No. <laughs> All right. That's, it has to do with the Manson family. No, I thought, I, I thought for a second you were explaining what you're going to be doing later, <laughs> sharing <laughs> your taint. No, I might. You that's like, that's that. a great that, that joke. That's a great timely joke you got there. That is a great joke. <laughs> yeah, strike while the iron's hot. The audience is going to love that. <laughs> I, love, I love how Charles Manson fucking gets out, but we have all these nonviolent <laughs> drug offenders who, like, you know, have to stay in prison. For like twenty years, Charles Manson is before he out, is he? Yeah, he's because they're. He'll I, never get out. No, look it up. He. I know he was he was getting Macho ready Man, for Randy parole, said. but they denied it. I thought he just got out because he at like seventy eight or Google that shit. They denied yeah. it because he supplied it and somebody <laughs> smelt it because he dealt it. <laughs> I'm done with the book. Will, Will, Jerome, you, you want to go? But, Let's just do our own <laughs> podcast. <laughs> it's gonna be the Will, Will and Royal podcast. Brought to you by Super Kick. <laughs> the salsa with a kick. Salsa with a kick. Drew Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> no, but something I was kind of wanting to talk about was the fact that people are fucking up uh, image of fucking gun owners in general by, you know, fucking doing all these protests by showing up with assault. Well, well just like yeah, long like, rifles and just to prove a point in fucking public places. Like, right, pretty much and Uriah, downtown. of all people, has a fucking opinion about this shit. I mean, look at him. He's he's got two magazines on the left, a fucking pistol on the oh, right. Oh, I didn't even see that shit. And I've been with you for about like an hour and a see, half. I no, didn't see wait, that. his defense would be it's because he's wearing earth tones and blends into the environment. That's, Fuck that's, that. That's right. That's Fuck that. I quit. Right. <laughs> really, I quit you didn't life. notice that? He's, he's like, like, I've no, got because, I, no. Honestly, I was just like talking. To, I was talking to he's Uriah. Like, he's like, like, I've got earth tone skin. I need to blend in with my clothing. Right. Right. <laughs> no, no. Honestly, I was just sitting there talking to him, whatever, blah, 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 until. Like you know, you told me about like you know what you're trying to do and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't. I'm just. I'm. I'm a listener. I'm. But to, and and then until I become, somebody said it. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, holy fuck, you can shoot me right now. So you know. Yeah, but I won't. So. I know you won't. Don't. <laughs> because I'm a fucking ninja. But um. Well, well I, mean, I could like shoot we you right now, but I don't I mean, have a gun. It a little bit makes oh. sense with what's going on. I know you fucking would. price on your head, shit. Oh yeah. 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 That that's lame. But. What? We'll talk about it in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Did he just say lice on his head? Price. It sounded price. like lice on my head, didn't it? it, yeah, it, it price. Price. It's some old mob shit, but this isn't funded as well. Uh. <laughs> no. And that's... neither is our show. So it, <laughs> it shows. Uh-huh. See, I use show and show in the show. same sentence. It made it sound awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for making it but you haven't had So, any, John. You haven't had any <laughs> issues with your fucking pistol walking around in places, have you? No, because... Pistola. Yeah. New Mexico's pretty lax- relaxed as far as... Well, not just that, but I'm not... You know, I mean, the way I dress, the way I present myself, I'm not a freaking D-bag walking around with a gun on his hip trying to, like, look cool. Like in, like, a yeah. trench coat and sunglasses? It's a good thing yeah. You, it's a good thing you didn't have the rat tail when you started carrying. That would have been a little suspicious. Yeah. That would have been like, what the hell is that Mexican doing with all that shit? <laughs> <laughs> and he's got Get a rat him tail? Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this isn't good. But, uh... <laughs> But no, my, my opinion on that, like I just said, I I carry on a daily basis. I would never leave my house without it. Um, my family's worth protecting. The people that are around me at all times, they're worth protecting. If I'm in the company of somebody, it's because I want to be in their company for the most part. And if you bring yourself into where I'm at and cause trouble, there's a problem there. But if I can, I'll walk, I'll run, I'll swim away from you but if i'm in a corner that's when shit happens but anyways so (laughs) like uh makes sense these guys at at target carrying their long guns just to make a point just to make a point the the it's not even a good one no it's it's not a good point because it makes people where the cheerios (laughs) 
<laughs> no, they're standing at low and ready position as far as everyone's concerned. Oh. All the pictures you see, it's just ready. They have the magazine in it. Who knows if there's something actually loaded. Well, and see, the thing is, is the reason I disagree with it is because it is a huge huge thing on the mind seeing somebody walk around yeah, with an it, assault style weapon yeah whether it being a shotgun or ak or an ar granted or, the shoplifting rates went down every time somebody walked in with one <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sure they did they're like um, i'm gonna take oh shit yeah but it's it's intimidating <laughs> um i i have only done that a couple of times but I was in uniform and I was working. And other than that, I would never, ever bring a long gun in. And these people who are actually doing it are hurting the image of all of us actual gun owners because, I mean, it's a D-bag thing to do to walk around. You, you think your dick's that small? Just to prove a point like, because there's a bunch of gun control yeah, shit happening. You don't need to be bringing that. When you're talking personal defense out in the world, if you're a civilian walking around, all you need is a pistol. Yeah. All you need is a pistol. Unless you're actually thinking you're going to get into a firefight, in which you shouldn't be at the freaking store. You should be scared somewhere else. I'm going to bring nunchucks. That's <laughs> just me. No, seriously. Just because of the fact, like, if somebody brings a gun, you're like, holy fuck. But if somebody brings nunchucks, you're like, holy fuck. Let's see what goes down. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> let's do this. Oh, uh, but it's... She's it's, just got. She's still got the sticker on it. Oh, uh, uh, now that's still scary. got the sticker it's on it. It's baby. Scary. However, however... The wait, gun wait, 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 is going into her ass crack. I don't. That's kind, of, that's kind of hot. Aside from everything no, else, fuck that. it's not as intimidating. Fuck the that. reason this picture scares me is because there is a brand new sticker on that. Yeah, which means she either she bought it at the Walmart next door and know, walked over to the Target to prove a point. If, if yeah, basically she bought it to prove a point, and you can tell because a regular person who is just exercising their Second Amendment right, they're not going to be walking around with a long gun. Yeah, they're or, not. Yeah. And if you have any you're experience, gonna be around with a you're not going to have a <laughs> brand new sticker on your shotgun. Yeah. And you're definitely not going to carry it in freaking public unless you're a chode like this because then you're just a chode. See, Fucking chode, I told gun. you. Trying to bring that shit back. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's, that's a good a thing. Chode, gaffle. That's yeah. another one. We should start getting people to re- to yell that shit at the fucking soccer games. Does anybody remember? Chode! Instead chode? of puto, because apparently puto's chode. a problem. I, I used that when I was growing Chode, right? I like yeah. Alavegra. 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 And then you I used could, to say that at my work all the time. But I used to con- well, no. Before I learned basic Spanish, well, I used to confuse that with aloe vera. <laughs> when, I, when I was a kid, it wasn't even aloe vera. It was uh, a la like, Yeah. Like, and then it could be like <laughs> aloe vera herga. But then pe- like the extension even it. when I was younger, it was just Allah. And then uh, 9-11 happened and people changed that shit real quick. Oh, <laughs> real fast. <laughs> <laughs> they realize you can't just yeah you can't just say Allah anymore. It's got to be Allah verga. <laughs> I just <laughs> fucking prove like okay, I'm definitely not part of the uh, a bigger problem. I I used to um I used to say it a lot. I used to work at this call center, but I used to say it a lot. But it's just funny because this is tall black dude just saying Allah verga and all the Spanish shit. He's like no no little pepito don't say that. I'm like what does it mean? <laughs> like, I didn't know what it mean. I just heard I it. Know, they still don't know what it means. No 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 no. Is it all like, the broads it's... were getting all hot when you said it. Allah verga. They're I thinking big I remember dick. when I was in middle when I was not middle when I was in elementary school. I remember people saying to me like that's the worst thing you can say. Don't yeah. ever, ever ever say that. Never. Nobody ever told me what it actually meant. It's like yeah. Voldemort. It's like <laughs> just don't say it. You know just don't worry about what it is. Just don't say it. Yeah, what was it? What's, what was it? Um, the people who took the um, from Harry Potter, they they suck the stuff. Oh yeah, the Dementors. Yeah, the Dementors. What if you said Alavega and the Dementors came out and sucked your soul? <laughs> that would definitely be a reason to not ever say that. <laughs> no, no. I like that's your impression of somebody having their soul sucked. Like no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't sound like fun. Why weren't you Mild directing? Protests. Why weren't you directing um, Prisoner of Azkaban? Like because... that would have been awesome. No. Because I was too busy getting a handy in the in the film in the popcorn bucket in the po- <laughs> cut, cut, cut nice. <laughs> we were kind of talking that? about that like not too long ago about how th- some places are trying to do like the plastic popcorn buckets for like special promotions and stuff. And it's like that just makes the hole in the box thing a lot harder because now you got to worry about cutting yourself. My th- <laughs> my thing about it was okay. At least the cardboard makes the fu- or the butter makes the cardboard soft. How first of all, how we got onto the whole <laughs> dick in the hole thing? Beyond me. Okay. It's because but, I walked away and came back for a second. All right. But <laughs> my thing about it was like did the pop like okay, so did you cut it 
and then okay, John, since you're old enough to know this, yeah. um, did you cut it? Yep. Right, but the popcorn was still there. Was like, was your, was your, was the, was the, was the buttery? Okay. Hot you know what? Usually, me? I just let my the force of my uh, boner pop. Cialis just, pill. Like, oh wait, <laughs> no, this is back in the day, so like it just also like, just boom. Viagra Royal. back then. No, Royal, Royal, I, tell, tell me, Will. I, I really, I, I hate. I hate doing this because I know it's just it's such a mean thing to do, but <laughs> it's not a real thing. Nobody actually ever cut a hole in a bucket of popcorn and put the oh in. literal will. Like, no, no, no. Honestly, no, I respect that. Saying, and I appreciate that. I just, I just don't. I just like telling kids that Santa Claus is. I think it's important. It's you know. probably happened in isolated. Incidents. Wait a minute, Will. Okay, the first thing you said was cool. The second thing you didn't. The second thing you said was not cool. Okay, okay. the whole Santa thing. That's not cool. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know he wasn't real. Oh shit! Okay, everybody, Way to ruin my childhood. Hey, everybody, come around. We're Will. gonna talk some shit out. <laughs> a thirty-four-year-old just ruined a twenty-one-year-old's whole childhood. Thirty-three, motherfucker. Sorry, oh. thirty-three. <laughs> I was confused. You put the age back down. I was confusing okay. yours and John's age. Okay, <laughs> to quote Boondocks, Ronald Reagan was a devil. Jesus was a black man. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't remember what the third thing he said was. Uh, there were like three things. And then before he gets smacked, he's like, you, and you nah, nah. about telling white people the truth again? Uh, he said, no, Grandpa. <laughs> he said, nigga, you right. gay. <laughs> it's right. That is right. But that's that's the truth. Well, I'm glad I learned about that. That's something because I wasn't going to sit there. Well, actually, yeah. I would have thought about it. But yeah. Minute five. Five minutes? No. We, I mean, we're at five. an hour five. Hour five. Minute five. Fifty minutes. We got 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Why'd you have to ask? See, that brings it down. No, it doesn't. It brought it down. If we're not strong enough to overcome a fucking time check, Jesus Christ, man. We shall Those six overcome. listeners just turned turned off. They're just like, <laughs> this show is going so <laughs> well. And then Until. they talked about the time. Fuck. Uh, let's do some news stories. News yeah. stories? I have a story. There's this guy named... Uh, Jimmy Crack Corn, and he doesn't care? No. Come on, play along, Alan. Come on. Okay. I care. Okay, plug I in my care. controller, and I'll play along. Gilberto. Oh. I'm not going to touch your joystick. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> Don't you just love the host and co-host banter? It, it's, it, it's the light. Look, would you look up Gilberto Valle? I know, he's not a relative of me. Are you sure? Yes. Seven degrees of Mexication. <laughs> G-I-L-B-E-R-T-O-V-A-L-L-E. And while he looks this up, I'm going to go ahead and plug this show that's coming up tomorrow. No, 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 no. no. You end. get to wait. Don't you worry. get to wait. Oh, man. Is it this fat-faced guy? Oh. All right. Yes. I'm sorry, John. Can I wrap the back of your head? Yeah, no, we're good. Oh, so he's a cannibal. Ah, yeah. Oh, shut up! I want to talk about this motherfucker. You know, I <laughs> you know I heard it recently got more expensive to export cannibals because uh, Mexican bull races are getting a little bit too safe for the bulls. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. There aren't know. as many bull casualties, so the cannibals are more expensive for peace. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people these days want can of cows. <laughs> Royal and I are leaving now. Can of cows. It's been nice. Thank you for having us. Thanks, thanks, thanks John. Thank out. Thank you, Raya. That's the yeah, only no people problem. we're going to thank. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, dive into the story as the dog uh, jabs the tennis Dives ball Dives into, into your balls. Yeah. <laughs> she loves my balls. I don't, my what my the crotch fuck? is really dirty. It, does he have a ladle? Is that a ladle? That's a ladle. And what is he, what's He's it? making some broth. <laughs> some as John broth. would call it. Okay. So uh, this former cop, his name is Gilberto Valle. And uh, basically what happened... Looks like a fat Pee Wee Herman. He was released from jail <laughs> Secret on, word. He was released from jail on Tuesday. Uh, he he um, apparently was... Uh, his conviction was overturned of... Um, I think it was attempted kidnapping and murder. Basically what happened is his wife stumbled onto his, um, his computer... She used the stumble upon app. Yeah, she was. You know, I used you know to use how wives are. They like to just. I kind used to of use stumble upon for a while, but then I got a computer virus where Morgan Freeman was talking about colorectal cancer, but there was no open internet windows on my computer. Huh. It, it was you. a really weird virus. It's like pure. penicillin couldn't cure it. 
<laughs> so uh, this guy, true story. His, <laughs> his wife uh, broke into uh, his computer. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really wearing the fucking the gin bottle hat. I'm, I'm That's like, supposed that to the... go on the top of a bottle of gin. <laughs> John, I'm listening to How your did story. you make that? That's a bro- He's a party man. Leave him alone. That's a broker's <laughs> gin bottle. Can I take a picture of that for the fucking yes, podcast? Yes, it, definitely. So, so um, just like this too. All right. So basically, this guy has been in jail for 20 months, uh, and they overturned his conviction. And um, basically, his mom is uh, – it, it's kind of a story because he got out and because uh, – this is in the post. So they pretty much want to hold up his mom for ridicule is, is kind of what they're doing because she's proud to have her son back. And you know how moms are. Even if you plan to kill, murder, and eat young women – They'll still think you're a saint, right? Depending yeah. on they'll be like, oh, he, baby, he's a I nice still left, didn't mean it. I still left your room the way that you had it. So <laughs> all you gotta do. <laughs> so whatever you know, people cutting cutting tools you have in there, they're yeah. still waiting in case you want to dabble some more. Dinner will be at seven. You know, I lo- I know that you still love hot pockets, right? Yeah. Especially not the non-human ones, too. <laughs> the non-human po- hot pockets. Um, uh. So basically, this guy was in jail for 20 months, and uh, he threw out the uh, Judge uh, Gardifi threw out the conviction, uh, ruling that uh, Vaya was clearly writing fantasy and made no real-life plans to carry them out. So basically, even though this guy, uh, his, or even though, well, Depending on your point of view, he was either writing some really sick fantasy, and who knows, maybe he would have gone through with one of them, but uh, there's kind of like a couple issues, because on the one hand, you have some guy who is like uh, putting something on his computer, and uh, his his broad stumbles upon it, and so uh, was she just making like a huge deal out of nothing, or do you think this guy would have actually killed someone? Are you asking if it was a big to do about nothing? Yes, a big to do about nothing. Was it a mountain out of a mole something? Okay, first of all, if you're just sitting there and you got your computer open. And it has chopped up body parts. You don't know how to fucking hide your files. Yeah, if okay? you don't have that shit encrypted, you're to blame. Like, there's there's that fold. Like, we were just talking about that. Before. Windows zip. It's but, an easy function. But, but the, the, the point, question is, throw it in a compressed zip folder and doing, nobody will know. Do you think he was capable of doing some shit? Or do you think he was just fucking writing some sick shit and then beating off to Was it? he a New York cop? Yes. Fucking A. You think he was going to do some you shit You don't think like he goes into those under those fucking underground tunnels where all the homeless people blow each other over there? I don't think that's a real what? thing. <laughs> oh, it's a real thing. I think I think honestly like if he I mean if he was just writing fiction, I mean of course he's not going to hide that cuz he probably thinks that there's nothing wrong with it, you know? Yeah. Like if this is like how he thinks about the world or whatever, then whatever. But I mean, I think that's a really good case, though, for why I believe people in law enforcement, especially people in any sort of like government or political office, need to be fucking psych tested, mm-hmm. so you don't have some asshole running around with you know impunity who can like just basically murder. So, like he could probably murder a homeless person and mm-hmm. eat him up, and like nobody would ever know because he's a fucking cop. You yeah, know? I be shooting people. Bang! Breakfast, bitches. Ah! Right. That's my opinion. I, everybody really has the potential to do it, but. Do they or have the you potential put in, problem podcast to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, But when you start uh, manifesting it, writing it down... But do you think that guy in particular, do you think he had the potential to do it? Everybody has the potential, man. Do you like, think that... Think do you think it, it was... Yeah, it, think yeah I guess it really does come down to the... the yeah, I guess it really it. does come down to the judgment and like the, the mental strength you have to follow through with something. <laughs> so so but I, I onlookers think also, really can't say. I mean, who's to say that writing it wasn't cathartic for him? You know I mean? Like, maybe that was a way his of... His outlet kind of... Yeah, like, maybe he would have done all that shit if he hadn't started writing about it. Like, who knows, you know? So he never actually was charged with doing anything? It was just a conspiracy to eat people? I think so. I think that's pretty much oh. what it was. Fuck. I like I like how they say a conspiracy. It's like, no, no motherfucker. No, no. <laughs> see, you know, it happened. It was right there. <laughs> well, well, see, it was that's, more that's like the definition of conspiracy. Yeah. Well, was that more of, than one party He kind of had something. detailed plans. Like, yeah. He kind so, of had detailed plans. Well, I mean, out. if you don't fucking get it all out there, then, like, fucking, what do you expect? But I feel like, how is this any different than, like, if, I, I don't know the author's name, but the guy who wrote Dexter, like, if somebody had stumbled upon his, you know, 
doc, doc you know, yeah, Microsoft if they, Word if file. If they hadn't seen a title for a show, like, <laughs> if, they had, like if they didn't see it in a that show was some format. Al- that yeah. was some elaborate well, shit actually, in that show. Well, actually, you know? it wouldn't have been a big deal because originally Dexter, before it got to, was it Showtime Studios? It was a story about a kindergarten teacher who uh, planted flowers and had no conflict whatsoever. I told him it was. I thought back. you were going for a Dexter's Laboratory it was a, joke. It was a no. novel. It wasn't a Showtime thing. <laughs> oh, I must have heard wrong. Oh. My bad. <laughs> or made you that heard that silence it. like right after you explained that whole spiel about being That's a school like, teacher and shit. Never mind, never mind. Oh no, no, you better go. No, because I don't want to do. I don't want to be that guy who like makes a jab at somebody else's do comedy. It, please, no, go for please, it. Please, go please. for it. I was gonna say that's that's the re- reaction to most of his stand-up. Material. Oh hey, oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, was I actually, you know, I have seen John Coyar. No, you haven't. I you never have. Material. He's like, it. hey, do you have a boyfriend to a hot chick? And she's <laughs> no, like, no. And he's like, oh, high five. No, if you have, five. actually, John Clare is one of those guys that, like, when he's at an open mic, he's mostly just kind of riffing and doing whatever. Yeah. But I've seen yeah. him perform at, like, an actual show. A show. Oh, yeah, he yeah, did yeah. well. He did I really well. I killed him. I got a well, blowjob on stage. See, now you just took it too far. Okay, we know Maynard. you. We know you, John. Yeah. <laughs> we know you mean Gabe. <laughs> Gabe. It was. It got your biggest laugh, though. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Hey, well, hey. Who oh. <laughs> doesn't do what you can to get an applause break? Who right? doesn't like no hands videos, right? Uh, anyway, uh, ask Mister Hands. <laughs> Mister, he probably would have enjoyed a no hands video. So he Alan would have died from a horse dick. So the cons- consensus basically is that this uh, guy... He was innocent. He was innocent because he was... What is this, thought I, crime I, because you wrote it down? Fucking 1984. See, I read the book. <laughs> there you go. Um, I, I definitely think that it's the kind of thing that should raise concerns, especially in a public official like him. Yeah. Um, well, but public official, it's more of a, a civil public, servant. Civil yeah, servant. Civil servant. Yeah, as, as a civil servant, I, I definitely think it should raise a Do lot you of think warning he should be Granted, it's better than our civil servants in Albuquerque have been getting the reputation for. Yeah. At least he's only writing about fucking eating people. Meanwhile, we're saying, ah, beanbag, stun gum, flashbang, and then shoot him and sick a dog on him. Yeah. But is he fit to be a <laughs> cop then? Exactly. I think he should definitely. If he's venting. I think he should definitely go under like psychological review. I think there should be like a there should well, be some sort of process to this. But like going like going to a board or something how, like that. How is it any different? I think they should make him go to like therapy for like. A <laughs> well, yeah, time. that's what I'm kind of thinking though. Is how is it any different than a cop who was involved in a shooting that you know actually was affected by the situation that has to go to therapy for what they've done? They're still deemed fit to work, but. They've still, in a way, just because they've actually followed through and it was in the line of duty. Mm. Granted, eating a person would never be in the line of duty of this yeah. guy. <laughs> It'd be but, a lunch line duty. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. I think but granted, someone's granted, only venting that much. You know, exactly. Only writing it down. As long paper, as only nobody's a blog. As long you know, as I mean, it's kind of. It might seem kind of strange to us, but maybe to them, it, it's the norm. It helps them cope. But as yeah. long as that's the only way that they need to cope and not actually act out. I mean, that's are we a gonna? Good thing. I mean, are we gonna go? as far as to say the diary of Anne Frank was saying oh just catch us now yeah no like that's the equ- that's that's how I'm equating I don't, I don't think it is a, <laughs> that I'm just gonna say I'm pretty sure that's a bad comparison that, that doesn't <laughs> really come out and say that those two things are not in any way equivocal they do not correlate <laughs> <laughs> if you will yeah. yeah a young girl writing about her experiences during Nazi Germany <laughs> is not the same as some dude's sick fantasy um, but yeah I see just, but they're <laughs> still guilty viewed in one person's eyes is the thing no <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying my point of view <laughs> there's a reason <laughs> All no, that we should have left a long time <laughs> we ago. <should've> just <laughs> <laughs> we should have left a long. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but the tiny hat just kept me here. In all in all reality. Isn't it though, funny I've, the things you'll put up with for like little satisfaction? It's, it's just like, like it's so tiny. <laughs> like who could wear this hat? No, but in all reality, I don't think that until there's like signs of wanting to follow through the something, you shouldn't be charged with anything. I don't think you should be charged with anything. I think whoever I think if his wife told his boss or whatever, that should have raised some flags and he should be like, Okay, we're gonna look into this further and make sure that this is just like your yeah. fantasy or whatever. Yeah. Um but I don't think he should be, you know. He shouldn't have been. Suggest uh, to the couple to. Jail. Yeah, and I don't think this is worthy of like you know national discussion. You know, I think this. I think I think if we regularly 
kept like police officers and stuff in check with like psychological and, and freaking politicians. I think politicians should all get psychological review. Well, yeah, maybe like, maybe if you fuck a boner with the binder full of women. Yeah, maybe, maybe if he played oh, zombie. with a wiener. No, no, that was no, that wasn't that was um the guy from Michigan or or Massachusetts. The um yeah, it was it Anthony Weiner or no, something? No, 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 no. It was the guy who ran for president. It was um the the Mormon. Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. That was Romney who said the binder. Romney had a binder? Yeah, that was Romney. Shit. Man, get your I, white people straight. I know. Okay? I, that's <laughs> what I was, get, get out of my fucking mind, because I really was about to say, man, I need to get my white people straight. <laughs> get out of my head, Will Bolt. <sighs> but I like it here. It's all I, cozy. I know, right? We, we, okay, we I, just got, I got a little too intimate. Okay. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Hey. Just don't make it awkward. Yeah. Okay, this is the, this is the guy who's talking now about it's and Frank and chopping up people being the same exact thing. But I, <laughs> I, 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 like, I really think that if if he would have played out some fantasies with like his girlfriend or wife or whatever and played zombie for a night or two, that it might you might avoid one of those situations. Yeah, sure. That's all. Like it wouldn't have been written on paper. It wouldn't have been brought up if she was aware of what at least he it, was kind of thinking. As long as it's consensual zombieism. And then we're okay. Because, I mean, zombies Zombies have infiltrated almost every part of media. You see countless zombie movies recently. All the student college films are about zombies. But you don't see zombie porn yet. Look out. Zombie. Is the thing. So maybe if he got his there fix is, with his wife. Never seen, you have never seen Stink of Flesh. There is zombie no. porn. I can attest that there Sorry, is Sorry, I'm not, I'm not big into Rule 34, okay? No, this is like, so a buddy of mine, a local... Look. Another local oh. actor, uh, Curly Tilapiawa, was in a horror, a local horror film called Stink of I've Flesh. I've heard of that. The Stink of Flesh. And there's actually a zombie rape scene in it. Nice. So someone rapes a zombie? Yeah. This one guy has a zombie chained up in his garage. Is she hot? I mean, the actress was attractive. But, nice. I mean, was it Julia Harris? I don't, I don't know who the actress was. Oh. Look, if you had to resort to zombie porn, there's, there's, there's a situation. What? See? Look. Look, this See, but isn't it better look. than actually writing your feelings down about eating people? I, no. I don't, how is that? But like, I, no, I'm not saying it's writing, better, what's but, wrong with but just your... so the fact that it's not like written down and provable by anybody, the well, girlfriend then, wouldn't turn well, you then in. Write it in a book and burn the book. You know what I mean? Like, just so you got it out there. Just yeah, like... just like see, it's, it's catharsis. You know, like catharsis. Like <laughs> sending the. It's like writing the email but not sending it, even though there's electronic drafts saved every second you're typing. Technically. Conspiracy. That's why you have hard copies like this calendar. Woo. <laughs> if I Art saw that chick in right. real life, I'd still shoot her. <laughs> She's a zombie. I would hope you would shoot a zombie. I'd shoot her, all right. I wouldn't fuck her. That's no, her. what John's saying oh. is he would shoot on her. See? Nah, <laughs> give her a direct headshot. I would katana sword all day. See, yeah, and then you get tired, and like see, the problem with the katana, swords is they get, get close dull. To you. Swords get dull. Swords get dull. You get tired. They get, they still have Plus, to be within with that, melee range. I mean, it's with not a bad, katana bad. sword, the unless you have a perfect swing, you may even break it in half on like the wait till the chick from walking. Do. Wait till the chick with the katana well, swords the thing, in, in Walking Dead goes through menopause. She's not going to have the energy to slay zombies all day with swords. Wait, you know what? Hey, Judith Edwards is fucking has. I think she's been through menopause. I don't know how old she is. Are you saying speaking of menopause? She's a fucking power lifter. Dude, that she is fucking. She fucked up her knee. She broke her knee. I know. I saw that. Something. I know that. But still, man, she probably lift more than me. I don't know why you're telling me. Sorry, I got both monies. No, I was looking. I was looking at him when I said it. Um. All right. But the but the thing about zombies though, was they have lifter. already begun the decomposition process. So swinging through them would probably be a little bit easier than cutting through like a living nice. human. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, besides, yeah, because of the decomposing and whatnot, in. right? <laughs> like Royals, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, all right, so uh, it, it seems like we've had a really great time uh, arguing and discussing. A lot of times discussing. where people hey, have wanted to people leave, have wanted to leave. <laughs> so, so now you motherfuckers actually get the chance to. <laughs> but uh, actually, well, before well, we you do guys that, at least stick around for a few minutes yeah. after, so it's not like the end of the last show. Yeah, where you know, everybody. I got I got it, it, it all started because yeah. AJ showed me a dumb octopus video. He's like, "This is walking on land." No, it's walking onto seaweed that's growing on land. Not it's not walking it. onto dry land. You, you I'm not even, impressed you until it walks even, onto a sidewalk. You didn't even give it a chance, though. No, I didn't because it didn't get onto land. It got onto fucking seaweed on low tide. I can see how you're upset Low tide, the beach wasn't very clean. Low tide, the beach wasn't very clean. You don't like... <laughs> you don't tide like. shirt cleaning joke, we, fucker. Are we going to plug shit or what? <laughs> yeah. We're going to plug shit, John? Yeah, who's got what going on? Yeah, what's going Royal? on? Royal, what's Watch going out on? for Uriah. He might shoot you. 
Matter of no. fact, <laughs> um, uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't plug. I operate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, matter of fact, people will. with bullets. Matter of fact, well, this this is gonna be a tandem. This is gonna be a tandem tomorrow. Um, there's um, uh, first of all, we got the Carpe Diem M Vibe show. There's a lot of people who are supposed to be doing that, and then Kurt after, Fletcher's gonna be doing that. He's uh, a Kurt regular on this show. Uh, Kurt Fletcher. Fucking um, not this month. He's not. No. I'm yeah. just fucking, Has well, been not. in the past. Yeah. Um, He'll be back. actually. I don't think he's gonna be on this. Sh- it's gonna be a couple of the um, the comedians doing the Roswell show, and then it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be Kurt, and then yeah, okay. um. Isn't uh, Nick Munoz doing it? Yeah, Nick. Man, fucking Don still hasn't had me on that show. Don hasn't had me on there either. So well, you mean, and me together, we should we should fucking high five. Very nice. It's nice. And then Jason's hosting. But after that, um, dude, Royal, we should seriously do a show. Nerd jokes from the hood. That could be our thing. <sighs> yeah. See. You feel me? Look, my head just got all fuzzy with imagination and wonderment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the and the top one, not the bottom one. Okay. But um, but after That's that, here. um, around ten ten thirty. Oh, what's going on at ten thirty? Um, there's something called the Comedian Power Hour. What's oh, that? Shit. How about you explain that, William Bolt? All right. Aren't so the you involved? I am. I'm. I'm going up against uh Margaret. Oh, no fuck. Um, nice. Margaret was our our guest Saturday. On Saturday. Oh, nice. Yes. Uh, so the is she going? Power, is she going down? Have you been training like? Drinking excessively in the past few weeks. Yeah, Margaret knows how to fucking party, dude. See, see, this is what everybody's been telling me. Every every Holy person that shit. hears you're like, you're going up against Margaret. They're like, Ugh. no, that's they just, know I don't drink. No, that's like, just because yeah. like for something like called a comedian's power hour, where you're supposed to drink every yeah. few minutes, you would think. So, for the, the for the first like two months before, you'd be like, all right, every night. Yeah, well, if I if I was Rocky, maybe I would have done <laughs> yeah. that. Hey, Mickey, um, I need to drink a beer. Have me. Uh, we're going upstairs. So, <laughs> the Comedians Power Hour. It's a it's a show put on by Drew Wayne and Genevieve uh, Mueller, and um, they basically what it is is two comedians face off telling jokes. They have two minute rounds. In between every round, the the comedians have to take a shot of uh, beer. Semen. Yeah, it's beer. <laughs> <laughs> Beer. God damn it. Beer makes you more sense. You won't let the end of the show progress. No, I won't. <laughs> so they, they have to take a shot, and then um, there's, I think there's, I don't know how many rounds of each, but there's a few rounds where they're doing just their own material, and then there's several challenge rounds where they're given a challenge, such as uh, Two to three. Do, doing like another comedian's material, yeah, yeah. or like debating. A. I might be good at that. I like, John, I'm not explaining this for you, okay? Yeah. I'm telling this to the oh, people listening well, who have no You're fucking You're so intuitive right, right now. Like, yeah, about tell it. me more. Yeah. Yeah. John's gonna be like, like oh, I might great. actually go. Um, and so basically the point is is to watch people get drunk and try and hold their shit together. Uh, the audience gets to vote on who they think is funnier, and I'm probably going to lose. But here's <laughs> the thing. There's a belt. Yeah, there's a belt. There's, there's a, a belt. belt. Yeah. There's a belt. It's a champion. It's a power hour championship belt it is that a, Drew made himself. It looks pretty, it's it looks pretty awesome. awesome. It's fuck look, yeah. Look that shit up. It's fucking awesome. Okay. I, I lobbied him to put a big dildo on the front of it so it could be a strap on a special <sighs> belt, but he he said no. So. Honestly, with the with the um, power hour, I've always like. Um, like at first, whenever I, like when I first started doing comedy and stuff, and like hanging out with like uh, Drew and Kevin and all of them, like I first started going to those, and I was like, like this is one of the shits that I want to do. It's like it's local, like, like it's a fucking fun time. It's like you're, like everybody. It's, it's almost like how okay, if you got all your comedian friends in a group, and just like got drunk because it is BYOB by the way, but yes, just the fact that. The shit's the shit's real. Like people get drunk. Oh, we also have a, a special guest oh, yeah. referee. Oh yeah. So the special guest. I'm I'm actually I don't know how. This is, I'm kind of excited about this guy. His uh, he's the alien warrior comedian. Is his name like by. Mark uh Mark something? But he doesn't go by that. He, Mark White is his real name. But he doesn't. He goes by alien warrior comedian. If you look for. Look for Alien Warrior Comedian Last Comic Standing or Alien just look up Alien Warrior Comedian. If you look up Mark Quites, you won't find anything. Yeah. I was just I was Googling him earlier and like he's actually got some pretty fun stuff and like he's committed to that character. Yeah, because like, like every every picture that I've seen him in He's in just, costume. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's from Guar. He looked yeah. like he looked like the I don't Guar. remember the whole story from Guar, but it's like they I heard came they're to, looking for a new member. Well, like they came Aww. to Earth or whatever, and like all of them were like, "We're gonna do like music," and he's like, eh, "I'm gonna go do comedy." <laughs> like he just branched off. Like, yeah, oh, he's just like, yeah, so. yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go do my own thing. I'm gonna wear my costume on stage. Aren't I funny? I- 
He's like, but his material is actually like, I mean, he, he's got some decent shit. Wouldn't that be really funny though, seeing a Guar character do stand up one night? Like you just show up to a place and they're like, oh, uh, some kind of Latin name that I don't know right now because I don't listen to the band, and then like they walk up and start. In their costumes, <laughs> yeah, throwing, throwing uh, lamb's blood on the people. Yeah, ah, they like go. the fucking they, they, cannibal they Gallagher. This, they said this to me, and I was like, ah, and the blood spurts out at them. That'd, That'd be, be funny. That would be a whole. Would be horrific, spin. Alan. <laughs> we get your shirt dirty. Oh, and that's the tie joke right there. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Anything to plug? You're right. We anything? covered Power Hour. Oh, um, guys, this is, you know, I'm not going to be in town from 13 to the 20th. Yeah, where are you going? I'm going back home to Michigan for a little bit. Um, so we'll to, see you after that. Yeah, um, I'm going to try to do some Don't go to Detroit. There. That's oh, what I hear. I'm also, I'm doing this show called uh, Mirror, oh, what is it, Mirror Games or something like that? I can't even remember the name. It's Mirror something. I just got booked on it. Um, it's this, it's like a variety show at the Cell Theater. It's going to be July 12th from, I think it, sh- it starts kind of early, actually. It starts at five. It's like it goes from like five to nine. Um, tickets are five bucks, uh, but it's like variety. So they're gonna have like uh, slam poetry, music, uh, dancers. Uh, I'm gonna be doing like some sketch and stand up comedy. So nice. Okay. That sounds cool. Kind of okay, I just remember the whole mess of the shit real fast. <laughs> that wasn't what I was talking about. <laughs> all right, cool. So first of all, I'm gonna give you guys um, a little bit tidbits of for the outside. Lear- uh, we got like two minutes. Okay. Man. So <laughs> what's the time? I don't understand the time limit. Like, it's what, like okay, okay. Usually, it's arbitrary, is what it is. We okay. decide people don't want to listen more than an hour twenty to an hour thirty. Hey man, uh, I listen to Joe Rogan's three-hour fucking podcast. Me too. I listen to the live ones. It keeps okay. me fucking busy at yeah. work. <laughs> okay. So real fast, um, back alley Monday six forty-five. Um, over by NYPD Pizza, open mic, um, get there early, get seven. It's a fun show. It's a fun show. Um, also, after that, um, Tuesdays, you have Young Dumb and Full of Comedy over Nexus. at Nexus, uh, 645, sign also up. Also, a really good show. Great uh, food at Nexus, by the way. Great fucking food. Chicken and waffles, fucking cancer shit, nacho platters. And then that's, that's what they look like. And then right after that, um, we actually have another open mic over at um, Blackbird. Every other uh, week. Every other week. It's going to happen this next week, and y'all should come out because the day after that is my birthday. What, oh, what? Oh, yeah. So, but, hey, yeah, wait. that's pretty much it. Hey, I thought, were we going to talk about, like, misogyny and shit this time? We were, uh, I guess. Were we? Next time? Everybody had too much shit to say. All right. Hey, All right. John, I want to Wait, in what fashion? Well, in a yeah. short, short no, form fashion? No, it's not. Fashion. There's no short form I have the fashion. Song, I have the song on repeat. What is it? Real quick. There's no real quick. It was basically, John and I were going to talk about language and, like, comedy. Basically. Yeah, Will Bolt was going to say, fuck all bitches. He ain't got time for I was not going to say that. I was not going to. Like, Mind drop. Since, <laughs> since the time limit is arbitrary, let's just go ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, this, this is, is going to go on not... for another half hour. Yeah, this is going to go on another half hour. But, yeah, but I would like to come back and actually have a real discussion about that. because We will definitely important. have you okay. back. The bitches are barking. we got to go. All right, thanks for having me. No, no, and, thank yep. you, everybody.